Shout out my hey, mucus. Hey, Can hey, you know that be my slime? I swear that girl she a ten. Yeah, keep her around. I swear that girl she a gem. Hey gems, and welcome back to May Chronicles. In today's video, we are doing a, a cooking video for my baby Louie. I need to turn that sound off because okay, right, I'm gonna just keep it on. But if you hear the sound, it's like mm -mm. like I don't even I don't know why I just did it too. But basically, it's just my ring camera saying it is motion throughout my apartment. So today we'll be cooking for Louie, and you guys will see what I'm cooking for him. I have cooked this meal before. But last time I cooked half of what I just showed, just one pack of chicken, corn, and peas. So this time I'm adding sweet potatoes and baby carrots. And you guys will watch me like prep it up in the final product. So stay tuned if you want to see what I feed my fur baby because he's my baby and I love him so much. I just know like he wants to, like I usually feed him when I eat so he can feel, you know, because he's a part of my family. So so that he can feel a part of it even more. He needs to eat food that I eat, but of course, no salt, no anything to that nature because I want him to live his best long fulfilled life. So I can't just feed him what I eat, but you know, basically the same thing, but no seasonings, no salt, no anything. So even though this says no salt added, Okay, it's not showing up, but I tried to show you guys. But, you know, I show, I'm going to show you guys in a little bit of everything I got him. Even though it says no salt added, I am going to still rinse it off just to be on the safe side because I don't want anything to happen to my little baby. So, yeah, we're about to get into it. Stay tuned to see the meal that I've prepared for him. And he loves it so much, literally, like, so, so much. So, we're about to get into it. I got my AirPod in, but that's because I want to listen to music while I do it, and I don't want to get copyrighted. So, yeah. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is what I got, Louie. Um, I didn't realize that I had chicken strips and dice, so I would have to just cut these up a little bit smaller. But this is 1.3 pounds of meat for $5.14. This one is chicken dice, like chicken breast dice. And it is 1.36 pounds, $6.79. Then we have whole corn, no salt added. Sweet peas, no salt added. Sweet potatoes. I did search to see what some other good things to add in the food. The first time I cooked this, I just cooked um, a chicken breast, cut it up really nice one can of corn and one can of peas so i'm just doubling up to see how long this will last and i spent a total of 21.93 eight items so i think i did really good so this is louis little setup right here i am going to get a mat for that and we have louis right here hey baby and we have his twin that he sometimes beat up Hi, Louie, baby. The kid's like, why are you touching him? Hey, cute boy. Hey, cute boy. Every time you move, it goes out of focus. So we're cooking for you today, Louie. Yes, we are. Hey, big boy. Six. Good boy. Tell him you're ready to eat, aren't you? He just ate, but he ate a little bit of his kibble. I love this. I love, love, love this. He had a little bit left, but he started getting kind of tired of it, and I would add chicken broth to it. He was tired of it, so I decided to cook for him. And he loves the new food, but I ran out. He got food inside of there, but I ran out of the food, so I had to give him some of that. Okay, so I'm about to cut these baby carrots up. A little bit um i'm about to cut these up just a little bit more well i'm about to cut the baby carrots up and then i may cut these up just a little bit more we'll see as time goes by but i think we can chew them i just want to be on the safe side i'm about to wash these off
So this is how it looks. So now I'm about to add this, these carrots into the pot. I'm not going to start cooking it just yet. I'm going to wait till I get the sweet potatoes cut. I do want to cut them just a little bit more. I feel like they're kind of big. So this is how it looks so far. Okay, so now I'm about to get the sweet potatoes. I'm about to do the same thing. I'm about to wash them off. And I'm going to look to see if I need to cut them up or not. I was going to cut the sweet potatoes a little bit more, but they actually don't need to be cut. So we're about to get into actually boiling the sweet potatoes and the carrots first before I do the corn and the peas, just because I don't want it to, um, I want them to get a little softer before I put the corns and the peas in there because you know, the corns and the peas are already kind of soft. So I actually added an extra um, peas and corn because I had one from the last time. The first time, like I said, I only cooked one of each thing just because I wanted to see how long it would last. So I have three corns, three peas, two things of chicken, um, a big, or like a bag of sweet potatoes. It looks like a lot for a dog. And then the baby corn, I mean the baby carrots. It's a lot. And then I gotta cook rice. I gotta see how much rice I'll need depending on how much, you know, size I have or whatever. So, um, my camera is about to die. So I'm about to let it charge real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the sweet potatoes and the carrots and the chicken as well, and I'll be back. So the chicken, I just turned it on. No seasoning or anything like that. I did wash it off. The longer pieces that you see, I did say that I had strips in the diced um, chicken breast. I will cut the strips up a little bit more. I'm probably just gonna do shredded chicken. And more than likely, I'll need more chicken because this is not as much chicken as I thought it would be. So, yeah. Compared to like the other stuff that I'm adding into it. Okay, now I'm about to move the can opener to open this while all of that stuff cooks. I haven't put the rice on yet because I'm letting it on um, the water boil. Let me actually, I rinse the tops off. Then I just get a paper towel and wipe the tops off. I use so many freaking paper towels when I'm cooking. I don't know why. I need to just get a reusable um, hand rag or something because this is not okay. Okay, let me check on the chicken. Oh, actually, let me bring you guys over here so you can see how the chicken looks. Okay, I'm about to turn the chicken over again so we can finish getting cooked throughout. So I can finish getting it cooked throughout, but that's how it looks so far. It looks very nice to me, but it's so good to him. The water is beginning to boil, and then the sweet potatoes and baby corn is cooking as well. Lily coming back over here, he wants some more food. I gotta keep you guys at this angle just because um, my camera is charging, and if I put you over here, I have no plugs over here. Well, I have a plug, but it's um, like right here by the pool, so I don't wanna do that. So. I'll be back once, you know, I get everything together to show you guys the finished product. Okay, so I'm about to put the rice in the bowl of water. I didn't measure it, so we're about to eyeball it. Let's hope it's right. He should be able to eat on this for a very long time. And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, I am gonna to have to buy more chicken because that's not enough chicken for all of this stuff. 
So I shredded the chicken and I used two forks. And this is how it's looking. I think I'm gonna eat more chicken because I have a lot of rice, corn, peas, carrots, and sweet potatoes, but we'll see. This should last him about a week. So on estimate, 14 feedings, two a day. Hey, baby. Sit. Good boy. <laughs> I just spilled some water on the floor. We're just now about to eat, so he's just now eating as well. around the bowl because he's like trying to save it and he ends up putting it in his water. 